show now. What time is it? I don't think it was recorded. You weren't recording? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> now that shows you don't. It's telling you don't do what, you, what comes to your mind. When we first started, I, I thought, I don't think that's when I started that box and that thing. But I did. Oh, well, that's fine. Well, we got it. <laughs> <laughs> but but that's but saints that's that's um uh, it's just uh you know you're not going to be deceived by a Baptist in this day. You're not going to be deceived. You're not going to be deceived by 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 a Pentecostal. You remember Brother Ben talked about the two spirits in the framework of the church. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. See, right. Mm -hmm. exactly. The two spirits. Almost alike, so hard to 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 differentiate. But what was the what was the diff? What made the difference was the life, the token, right? So the children of Israel they had to grab this blood from the lamb and place it on the doorpost, right? Mm -hmm. So it wasn't the lamb itself. Brother Brown said was not the token. The token was the blood. Right. Right. But really, in actuality, it wasn't the blood. It was the life. Exactly. The life. Because that blood, you could have the blood all you want to as yeah. well. Yeah. You could have, they could have had that blood all they want to. But it's the life that had, comes back upon the believer that changes you. You see? Jesus Christ, Brother Bram said, Je Jesus Christ spilled all his blood. Spilled all the blood. And there was only enough blood to just go for for, for a certain amount of people. It wouldn't have been able to cover everybody, right? In his physical element, you see? But that's the reason why he said, when, when, go tarry ye upon, uh, 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 tarry ye in the upper room. That was the message, go. Mm -hmm. That was the message to them. Go ye tarry in the upper room, and there you'll be indwelled with the Holy, with the Holy Ghost. There the Comforter will come, you see? That is the, that is the element that I believe people are are missing in this day. They're looking. They're looking at. They're looking at the physical things, and forgetting that there's a life that needs to be lived. You see. Yes. So it's making people. It's making people uh, lazy and drowsy and nonchalant. When in actuality, these do you see how they had to act in the in, before this exodus? Mm -hmm. They had to move. Yeah. They had to do something about this message that Moses and Moses gave them. You see, they had to act upon it. Right. Right. So let me go back here to my notes real quick. <clears throat> Amen. So, just real quick. So what is a token? It's a thing serving as a visible or tangible representation of a fact, quality, feeling, etc. Let me give an example here. I wanted to offer you a small token of my appreciation. Well, when you give somebody a gift, for example, I give Brother Bob this gift. I appreciate Brother Bob. <laughs> Brother Bob, I appreciate you. <laughs> yeah, that looks good on you. <laughs> now I gave Brother Bob that gift, but that's not me. That's not me. But it's a representation of of my appreciation to him. So every time he looks at that token, it should sure remind him of me, right? You see what I'm saying? So every time you look at the token, amen, the Holy Ghost working in a believer's life or in your life, it should point you back to Christ. It shouldn't point you back to a man. Right? right. right? It shouldn't point you back to a tape. It shouldn't point you back to something physical. All those things were good. Those were tokens, amen, to us. You see? But that that's not Christ. Right. Again, like I said, the tape didn't die for me. It was Christ that died for me. Right. Amen. Mm -hmm. But Abraham said here, now what is first a token? It's a word that's commonly used among we English-speaking people, especially here in America. A token is a really 
that the, the dictionary says that a token is a sign. It's a sign of a fair price paid, see, that the fair or price required price that's been paid. And I give here an example in Toronto, when we go and get on the subway, they don't use money in order for you to get on the subway. You have to have paid your fare and they give you these tokens. And that's what you present to the person that's letting you in, that's going to let you in into the subway. And if you don't have that token, even though I got money, I'll give you some money, but well, that's not going to work. I, I got the Bible. I, I've got the message. I've got the picture of the, the statue of a perfect man. I've got, I've got it all. That's not enough. You got to have the token. Right. You got to have that the, the representation, the life of 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 what that is. You see, yes. man, I'm getting out of the picture. <laughs> you have to have that life, and that's what's going to let you in. God's not going to look at you because you have you've listened to every single message that Brother Brandon preached, or it's great that you do. It's great that you read and you continue to do it over and over and over. But that won't save you. That's, you know, that's not gonna. That's gonna save you. It'll save you if you grasp what the prophet was talking about in those tapes and apply it to your life. That's what's gonna save you. You see. So the children of Israel, they had this token. They had the blood. Amen. But they, then they had the lamb. And so, in another place, you know, they in the the covenant of circumcision was given to them before. Moses told them to go and, and, and apply the blood and, and, and all this, like this. Now what if a, a man would come up to Moses and say, Look, I don't need to do that. I, I've got circumcision. I could show you. And that wouldn't have been enough. Even though it was part of, of God's, it, it was part of God's covenant that He had given to Abraham, that would not have been enough. That was not the token. The token was that blood on the on the doorpost, and and saints, that blood. Why is it on the on the house? Because that house represents your your. You, we are the body of Christ. You see, that that token has to be placed on your on your home. You see, it has to be on display there to let others know, hey, Christ dwells in here. Yes. <laughs> Right? Yeah. And there's going to be certain things that are going to, that are going to come. There was physically, if we continue reading there in Exodus, I mean, we, don't have, we don't have much more time, but if we continue reading there, there was other things that they had to do in order for them to prepare them for the journey. They had to, they had to shod, uh, uh, have shoes on while they were eating the lamb. While they were eating the lamb, they had to have shoes on. In other words, the coming of the Lord is soon at hand. Yeah. We, need, we need to be ready. Right? Right? right. We need to be ready. That was another... The, the fact that they believed that message was the fact that they were acting upon the message in all those different areas. But that, was, that blood showed that that lamb took my place. And then that lamb dwells here. And then they, they had to eat all of the lamb. Like Sister Peggy said, they had to eat, they had to eat all of the lamb. Including the entrails. The heart, the guts, the brain, everything. Kidneys, liver, every single thing. Well, I don't like that part. That part's nasty. <laughs> they had to eat it all. That's right. I don't like the way Brother Such and Such preaches. He steps on my toes too much. I don't like what he says. But is it the Word? That's the thing. Is it the Word? Because if it's the Word, and if it's not off the Word, you, you have to eat that. That's right. Right. You see, you have to in order, in order because you, the body of Christ has to feed on all the Word. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So the blood of the Lamb was the token for Israel. And uh, let me see here. The Bram says here, to the world it's a bunch of foolishness, but to God it's the only way. The only thing that He requires is that token. It must be there. And you cannot have the token until the fare is paid. So Jesus Christ paid the fare for us, right? Yes. 
then you are a possessor of the token which gives you the privilege of a free pass. I'll see the blood. I'll pass over you. What a time. That, that what a privilege to know that you pack within you the pass. When I see the blood, I'll pass over you. It's the only thing that he'll recognize. It's the only thing that he'll recognize. God didn't give any other, uh, any other substitution for the token. It's nothing else that can take its place. No substitute, no denomination, no nothing else. It takes that. God said, that alone will I see. So others are trying to put other things in the, in the place. You see, and that's what happened in the Garden of Eden. The, the Adam and Eve, when, when, when it had to do with, with a life, right? It was, it, 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 they sinned, and then they tried to put in a substitute. Something that was easy. Something that was simple. You see? But that, it, it, God had to provide himself a lamb, you see? God had to give them the lamb, amen, and say, put those skins on. Don't put that. Well, I don't want your, your, your religion. <laughs> I don't like it. I can't stand it. I don't want you to be to be covered by that. I want you to be covered by this. Mm -hmm. And there was blood involved with that too, saints. So, does anybody have any comments or any questions? Um, Sister Bob. It occurred to me while you're talking now, most countries in Asia and the Middle East, before you go into somebody's house, you have to remove your shoes. So it just kind of struck me when it said, keep your shoes on while you're eating. So yeah. You be ready yeah. to go. And then, you know, I equated that with being shot at the gospel. Oh, with the gospel. Part of your That's right. That was part of the armor. The armor, the whole armor of God. Yes. That's right. I, I mentioned that uh, when I was in Toronto a couple of weeks ago, I, I was mentioning that and I told them, I said, all the Filipinos here, because there's a lot of Filipinos there at the church, all the Filipinos here, they love, they just take, they love taking off their shoes as a custom to take off your shoes when you go into a house. But there in Canada, a lot of people do it anyways because the, the, there's salt on the roads. It's right. just it's nasty and you don't want to go in the house. So, so, but I said in this case, in this case, they had their shoes on. They got to kick out of that. Yeah. <laughs> because it's uh, Brother Brian said, you know, he just come to tell us the word. It was the revelation. Not give us the revelation. Tell us the revelation. we got to get the revelation. Mm -hmm. But uh, what are these people going to do when it says, the Bible says the fivefold ministry will perfect the same. Yeah. I mean, perfection is as high as you can get. Right. So that they're really saying that, because Brother Brown said that the fivefold ministry would perfect the same. Mm -hmm. So they're really saying you did, you didn't really tell us the word, because they saying that that's not right. The fivefold ministry. Right. So. Yeah. It's a, it, it, it's unfortunate. It's. No. Well, I've heard, I've heard them say that I uh, heard, heard a Sunday school lesson from a certain church, and Brother Branham, they quote Brother Branham out of, out of the questions and answers where Brother Branham says that you're perfected by the Holy Ghost. Yeah. And so they say, well, you're perfected by the Holy Ghost. You're perfected by the Holy Ghost. And that's what their, do you that's do their, that and that says you're perfected, well, you're by, perfected by, the by the Holy Ghost? <laughs> But really, and that's that, exactly that's, that's the whole that's the whole point. You try to talk to them, and they got their, they got their boat. That's all they're gonna say. You're back to Bible. Yeah. Yeah. Back to Bible. But really, in actuality, you take really it's both things together. Yeah. It's the yeah. Holy Ghost yeah. and the fivefold yeah. ministry. Like, it's not the fivefold like ministry Rand itself. Right. You see, just like Brother Rand was talking about. So you can't put faith that God can speak through human flesh. Mm -hmm. And yeah, because you can't see past this veil with all its faults and failures that the God that created all things that spoke through Brother Brown could speak through us too. Abs absolutely. There's a quote that I wanted to read to you. I don't have time, but Brother Brown mentions that. Mm -hmm. He says, he says, we don't have faith. Of the minister cannot help you. I cannot even help you if you don't have faith in what I'm telling you is the truth. Right. Right. So therefore, if you already come with your mind and saying, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I listen to the tapes. That's the voice for my day. And when you come to church, and, you, and you're listening to the minister, it's coming, but it's just kind of hidden. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. You know, exactly. and you're not going to be able to get what is being preached because you already put a filter there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Just a comment on hearing. You're constantly hearing what, the same thing over and over. 
it's it's scientifically there's a psychiatrist himself that says these are his words verbatim you become what you pay attention to mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, 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 over it's, and over and it's over. known if it is repetitive and if it does if that didn't work then uh, the marketing wouldn't work <laughs> you constantly hear commercial over and over it and then when you hear the jingle somewhere yeah it reminds you of that coffee that you heard the best part of waking up yeah. <laughs> your mouth starts watering <laughs> also when the minister is preaching or, or you know you got to check it yourself, see if he's telling you the truth. Absolutely. You have that's, that's, right. Right. that's absolutely right. Yeah. And, uh, it, it, and and that that's the, because you have to, you have, it has to agree with right. the word that right. you have received as well, you see? Right. Not just because, well, you know, he said it, then that, that must be it. No, you got to do your own study. Over and over, you right. start believing that's the truth. Right. Yeah. The fact that you just hear it more than once, more than five times, then you start within yourself believing that's the truth, and that's when you become what you pay attention to. But that's the thing, saints. Do you know it for yourself? Yeah. Well, Brother Dale probably has said lots of things for many years. Do you know it for yourself? Though? Right. Do you know that where he got that from? You see? Yeah. Which is and that's the key. reading the Bible and listening to the tapes. That's right. I mean, I hear some ministers, when they preach, I'm scared that they discount Brother Branham so much. I'm, you know, I understand. Think the wording... That I'm scared that especially young young couples, you know, coming in, that they may feel like they don't have to listen to the tape. Yeah, and you can't do that. And another thing is, there's a balance. We are so fortunate to have the ministry we have here, but what about people that go to that church? You know, what about? I mean, they, like she said, they believe what they. I mean, we're we're really blessed. But you got to find somewhere. That Exactly. Your Holy Ghost has got to lead you. Which goes Somewhere. back to, have you read the Bible and listened to the tape? No. That's, That's true. true. If you don't have a church to go to, you better be listening to those tapes yeah. <laughs> consistently. That yeah. being your church, I mean, you better. Right. But when you got a church to go to, services, both morning and evening, and you decide to stay at home, when you know the Word's going forth, Amen? Okay, that's between you and God, but... You know, people must not think, because with those two quotes that you said were, the Holy Spirit perfects the, the, the people, and the fivefold, five that's two, two different sentences. But what do they mean? If you believe in a prophet, if you truly believe that Brother Ren was a prophet, you would have to think about that fact. That those things wouldn't contradict each other. That's right. right. Cause they don't think. People must not think, and that's why they're taken in by these. Yeah. yeah. Well, exactly. because the word says it, obviously, and then the prophet he spoke about it. You got to bring the balance of that. Amen. Amen. So, let's go ahead. Thank you all for your attention. Look at this.